G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy, welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're going to give you an update on my display tank at the Wynnum Gallery Aquatica. And I have to give you a trigger warning, this is not all a happy story. So today's story is one of emotional resilience. It's certainly a story that I decided with a heavy heart that I'm going to tell. Uh, I wasn't originally going to really talk about it, but uh, this is a display tank, tank in our store. We have had a problem and we're gonna detail exactly what's happened and what steps we're gonna take to avoid this problem in the future. Now, last time we were here at the Gallery Aquatica Wynnum, you would have seen our display tank. It had a beautiful emperor angel, as well as a couple of other fish that are no longer here. And today we're gonna to tell you exactly what happened to them and why they're no longer with us. So to look at the tank now, you'd probably think that nothing uh, too bad has actually happened to it in recent times. But let's just talk about exactly where we are in the world. We're in uh, Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, and we have had some extreme weather in the past few months. We've had some crazy amounts of rain and some really bad storms. And it's one storm in particular that has caused a problem that has changed the trajectory of this tank forever. And the storm has caused a power outage. Now, unfortunately in the power outage, we've uh, lost power to both of our display tanks. And whilst the corals mostly have survived, the fish took a really heavy loss. And without the water circulation from the power, unfortunately, we've lost a number of fish through lack of oxygen. And uh, our very special Emperor Angel fish was one of them. And being a large fish, they do require a, a large amount of oxygenation. They need water movement so that they've got adequate oxygen to survive. And uh, when we came in the next morning and noticed we had no power, um, our Emperor Angel was the first fish that we saw and it was an incredibly sad story. Uh, we've spoken about our Emperor Angel fish in the past uh, being my favourite fish of all time and uh, it, it was a, a horrible thing to go through and I've been through this sort of situation before with clients um, but power outages are one of the worst things that can happen to a reef tank and we're going to talk about today about what steps we're going to take so that this never ever happens again. And we're going to show you the recovery that the tank has made and what we're going to do moving forward with the Gallery Aquatica display tank. So we're taking three steps to ensure that we never have this problem again. Uh, whilst we can't ensure that we're always going to have power to the store um, and power to this section in particular, uh, we can ensure that if there is a power outage that we have um, devices in place to alert us to the power outage as well as to ensure that there's water movement through the tank. So the first thing we have done is we've installed a CC um, camera so that we're going to be able to always view the aquarium. So we've actually already installed that, that's in place, and we check on it nightly to ensure that we've got power to the tank. It's very easy for us to see the tank with the camera and this way we can um, always know where it's at in terms of power. The second thing that we're going to do is we have an MP40 wave maker. We're going to put a battery backup on the MP40. So that will buy us a number of hours of water movement through the tank when the power, if the power were to go off again. So it means that we have something which is going to automatically kick in and power the MP40 so that we don't have a complete lack of water movement in our display tank with our precious fish. And the third thing we're going to do is we're going to get a device that will alert us to a power outage. We've got a few different options. We haven't actually settled on exactly which one we're going to do, but having something which will send you a text message when the power goes out is a, uh, a particularly powerful device for when you are not with your, uh, your aquarium. So uh, I want to talk about what we're going to do with the display tank moving forwards. You might have already noticed a new fish that we've added. Um, and whilst the Emperor Angel fish is 
probably my all-time favorite fish. Uh, we have put in another fish which is certainly way up there on my list of top fish for a reef aquarium. Let's have a look at our new Queen Angel fish. So this is our new Queen Angel fish and the power outage happened, uh, I think it was probably about three months ago now. So it's been a little while, we had the tank running with very few fish in it. The only fish that survived were a clownfish and a chromis. Um, we had it running for, uh, well, the last uh, probably three months with only those two fish. We, uh, we needed to allow some time for the coral to uh, rehabilitate. A lot of the coral suffered through the, the power outage. Uh, the, the only corals that we actually lost entirely were two aqua colonies, so we were a little bit lucky with that. Um, but we have started to repopulate the tank with fish. Now, uh, one of the things that I've been happy to be able to do is add fish which have got a story and a reason why they're special to me being my tank. And uh, the Queen Angel is the first uh, one that I'll uh, tell a little story about. So this fish was purchased by one of our good customers, um, High Rise Reef. Now we've done a, a few videos on High Rise Reef and it's a beautiful SBS tank um, on the top floor of a high rise building. We've been looking after it for a really long time and uh, he purchased this tank for high, uh, this, sorry, this angel for high rise reef probably five years ago. And every time I go to service the tank, I always admire this beautiful fish and I've watched it grow. And um, whilst uh, it was obviously a really sort of tragic circumstance as to why we had the space for for the Queen Angel fish, I was in some ways happy to be able to take it because uh, he's actually shutting down the tank for a period and going to restart up. Uh, he's going traveling and being able to uh, take the fish for this display tank was really special to me. And uh, I love the fact that the, the new feature fish in the display tank has got a real, really, um, you know, special backstory for me. Uh, we also have a beautiful spotted uh, um, rabbit fish, very similar to the one we had previously. That's come from a friend of ours who also was shutting down um, one of his tanks anyway. He's still got another tank, but he shut down one of his tanks. He didn't have a space for it. And here it is here. And I love the fact that we were able to rehome it in our tank here. Um, and again, uh, this for sipper jar has come from a customer that wasn't able to continue to uh, keep his tank for a variety of reasons. And um, so we've got a number of fish in the tank which have been uh, rehomed here from our clients. And that for me is a, a really special thing to be able to do with the uh, Gallo Quaker display tank. Owning a reef tank really is an exercise in emotional resilience. And it can be an incredibly heart-wrenching thing to lose fish that you've become really, really attached to. And I guess the, the, the thing that I look at is the ecosystem. And you know, this ecosystem has survived and it will continue to survive. Uh, we've had a variety of corals and fish come and go in the 10 years that this tank has been set up. And uh, as sad as it is that we've lost our precious Emperor Angel, you know, I'm really uh, excited by the Queen Angel. It's got such a beautiful presence in the tank. Uh, it really sort of swims around very gracefully. It catches everyone's eye. And the, 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 the tank has survived. So I guess the message is, and I say this to customers all the time, um, that have gone through tough periods with the tank. You know, the, the, the trick is just to, to move forward to, uh, you know, remember the fish that you've lost, but at the same time, don't focus on the losses. Look to what you can do to ensure that you don't have these problems again. Um, set contingencies so that if there's power outages or other problems to your tank, that you've got something to catch these problems before they happen. But that's it for today's episode. Uh, a bit of a sad update on the Gallery Aquatic Car display tank. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatic TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatic TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.